The origin of Igbo land is a central theme in many African folk tales, reflecting the rich cultural heritage of the Igbo people of southeastern Nigeria. One such folktale narrates the story of Eri, the founding ancestor of the Igbo people. The origin of Igbo land, the story of Eri. Long ago, in the ancient times, when the earth was still young, the supreme deity, Chaku, created the first humans and sent them to live on earth. Among these humans was a man named Eri, a favored servant of Chaku, who was sent down from the heavens to establish a new race on earth. Eri descended from the sky and landed in the marshy lands of what is now known as Igbo land. He found himself in a place where the earth was still covered with water. Eri was a wise and powerful man, blessed by Chaku with the knowledge of how to harness the elements of nature. However, he was perplexed by the vast waters around him. In his wisdom, Eri prayed to Chaku for help, and Chaku responded by sending an ant and a blacksmith. The ant was sent to dig up the earth from beneath the water, while the blacksmith used fire to dry the land. Slowly, the waters receded, and dry land emerged, creating the first habitable land for Eri and his descendants. Eri settled on this land, which he named Aguilari, and became the first king of the Igbo people. He had many children, and from his lineage, the various clans of the Igbo people sprang forth. Eri's first son, Enarai, became the father of the Enarai kingdom, which is considered the spiritual heart of Igbo culture. The descendants of Eri spread out across the land, establishing villages and communities, and the land came to be known as Igbo land. Over time, these communities grew into the great Igbo nation, with its people known for their rich traditions, art, and strong sense of community. Significance of the Folk Tale The story of Eri is more than just a tale of the origins of the Igbo people, it reflects the deep connection between the Igbo people and their land. The involvement of Choku in guiding Eri to create habitable land emphasizes the divine nature of their origins, while the symbolism of the ant and the blacksmith represents the importance of hard work, ingenuity, and the collaboration between man and nature. This folktale also underscores the significance of the Enari kingdom in Igbo history, as it is believed that Enari, the son of Eri, became the spiritual leader whose descendants were responsible for maintaining religious and cultural traditions. Through this story, the Igbo people passed down the values of respect for the land, the importance of community, and the belief in a divine origin, ensuring that each generation remains connected to their roots and the wisdom of their ancestors.